Okay, this is um, a video of Charlotte on her backhand. I just want to go through some um, um, points with Charlotte about um, how to improve her backhand and how to get it a bit stronger. So, if we run the video... Yep, two nice backhands there. Um, but I just want to um, point out um, with um, your setup, Charlotte, um, where your your wrist is and how to improve that. So I'll just um, put it on slow. Now, as we can see, Charlotte's wrist here is actually broken so not literally broken but going across like that and so I really want um, Charlotte to, to improve um, her wrist and um, and just have it nice and straight pointing upwards um, but um, uh, rotating her wrist rather than um, breaking her her wrist um, action there. So if I um, bring this, oh no, can't do that. So I'm just going to clear that there, bring it back to the normal. Just going to bring it down and through there. quite difficult to see this um, but Charlotte's not coming um, through that ball um, well on that then we're talking about oops we're talking about her wrist at this point so if we just um, Come down here, we'll clear that and we'll carry on on there. So nice follow through. Again, slow there. We'll just look at Charlotte's wrist on here. It's cocked. It, it's not cocked, it's actually broken um, and not straight and rotated. So and to get more power, we want just to hold that racket in a neutral position and rotate it rather than break it into a, what, it's, it's about 70 degrees there. If I slow this down here, Charlotte, I don't think, is extending particularly well on that shot. So Charlotte, a couple of things to work on. Try to keep your wrist um, in a neutral position. To get more power, you turn, turn your wrist and, um, and rotate it. You've got a nice turn in your shoulder and when you unwind, um, the racket will naturally fall behind you and you can um, swing that through, pull that through and that should improve your, um, improve your backhand.